for just a few seconds. Okay. Um, welcome once again, sir. So this is um, Business Day Media, West Africa's um, biggest and largest um, business and analytics paper. We have um, subscribers um, both home and abroad who okay. want to, who are looking to get news beyond the noises made outside. So analytics and business news, political economy, everything that resolve, revolves around businesses in Nigeria and out. So you're welcome once again. Thank you. Thank so you how's Vodacom? How's Vodacom under your watch? Well, uh, Vodacom is good. Uh, we are now in digital, by the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, I mean, it's... it's, it's uh, uh, there's been significant uh, growth uh, in, in the past couple of months. Wow. Yeah. So the pandemic, everybody has been complaining that the pandemic um, has um, crippled businesses and halt economic activities. We know the yeah. telecommunication space have uh, recorded boom this period. So probably tell us how has that affected your business? Well, uh, I would say at Ink Digital, we were not isolated from these issues resulting from the pandemic. Um, but as an organization uh, with a culture of innovation, uh, it helped us mitigate, I say, the impact of the challenges on our company. Um, uh, for example, the transition to remote work was seamless at Ink Digital, as uh, we had invested in our virtual work capabilities before the onset of the pandemic. Um, while we have not only successfully ensured our services remain relevant, we have also developed new solutions, which uh, you'll hear more about, to address emerging customer needs. Uh, during this period, we launched the AGI Video Analytics as a service, uh, which provides services like behavioral analytics, uh, compliance as a service, security as a service, for key management and predictive uh, customer behavior monitoring for retail stores which enhances the capacity for enforcing social distances at retail outlets also. Wow, that's interesting, interesting. But um, meaning you're investing hugely in technology now, as we speak. Yes, um, the whole idea for us at Inc. Digital, why we seek to maintain our connectivity business and also grow it, we also want to uh, uh, have a very strong digital footprint by offering a range of digital uh, products or mm -hmm. digital solutions. Okay, pretty much interesting. Inter so I, I'm just wondering why the transformation of name from Vodacom to in digital? Well, um, uh, in digital acquired Vodacom operating companies in uh, about four African countries and Nigeria was, was one of them and the the, the idea behind that was to uh, grow the digital solution footprint within the organization and in Nigeria as a whole, and also Africa. Hmm. Interesting. So we saw in Nigeria that um, we had um, a deep contraction of 6%. 6%, that's the um, deepest since 2004, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. So, I'm just thinking, like, what are you seeing, you from the CEO's perspective? What are you seeing for your business? Are you seeing the country returning to growth? And what steps are you probably taking behind the scene to make sure that, yes, your company thrives this period? Well, uh, you're right. The Nigerian economy has indeed been, has been affected, especially by the pandemic of, of recent. Uh, this, situation, this situation has also resulted in the collapse of oil prices globally, which also affects us. Uh, just this week, uh, the price of PMS was also increased to 151 era. Although this hike in price is coming at a fragile time for everybody, uh, all citizens, there is, uh, there is hope that, and there are, interaction, there are indications that it will promote the growth of the Nigerian petroleum industry and economy in general. Uh, this shift will also create additional investments in other areas of the economy also, and also first time price of a product. We are inked already, but in general, we need to switch. 
the way we see things as a country. When a problem comes up, we need to find solutions or ways around it immediately. There's always an upside. We need to identify it and focus on that. And that's, and that's our thought process behind that. So that meaning you're reversing some of your projection or some of your, um, probably you've, I believe you've done some projection for the remaining part of the year and beyond. So probably these developments that are coming up like the hiking, um, PMS and the weak consumer wallet, are there some revision to some of them? the already laid down strategies you've done in the past? Well, I would say that uh, with the current uh, pandemic situation we have in the country and also the economic situation, it's been, it's been good for us at Inc. Digital because of our digital focus. Um, so while other industries might have been affected for us, it's been a, it's, it has presented the uh, significant uh, opportunity with clear growth areas and we've seen the impact, the positive impact on our on our on our numbers. Okay, so in July you were appointed CEO. Around July you were appointed CEO, and part, part of the task was to drive the company's vision of becoming Africa's leading cloud and digital services. Do you, you see this playing out? And what are some of those steps and strategies you, as a CEO, is already having in the works? Yes, well, uh, as I said earlier, uh, there is strong demand for our products with our new focus on digital solutions and, uh, and, uh, as, and some of the steps that we've taken is also, take, uh, should I say, releasing these solutions and uh, engaging our customers on them. Our existing client base also growing at the client base. And for these solutions, they become uh, more important than ever right now because you have, we have clients that want to work off-site, work from home, you need virtual uh, virtual connection. So uh, I think that uh, we have come about at the right time. I've come at the right time, and these products are being used at the right time where there's strong demand for them. So you you you're coming from the private equity space, private equity background. Um, yes. and I believe yes. it's not a um, coincidence that you come in from that aspect. Are we seeing some probably deals from Inc? this year or probably next year? I didn't get that, sorry. I see you're coming from the private equity space. So are we seeing some probably um, acquiring from oh. industry? <laughs> yes, we are looking at, well, we are looking at uh, several partnership and uh, definitely we intend to grow. We intend to increase our footprints. Uh, in this sector, and uh, definitely, as uh, in the next couple of months, you will, you will definitely hear news of uh, what, what we are doing and what we've done. Oh, oh. So, congratulations! I know probably you wouldn't want to share some of your some of your strategies and some of your plans for probably the next year, the remaining part of the year, and uh, probably next year. But no doubt, you have been. Uh, how do you feel? Being nominated in the Business Day Next Pool Award in partnership with the Nigerian Stock Exchange. How do you feel? How does it um, impact your business and as well as you being the CEO of Inc.? Wow. Uh, it's an honor to be recognized by Business Day as one of the next bulls of the, of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Um, you just read out your profile in terms of impact in West Africa, so it is definitely an honor. It, uh, it gives you comfort that all the hard work is not in vain, and uh, there are people out there that continually observe the successes and the failures of our company. Um, although I've led this uh, company for an extended period, personally, this award encourages me to do more and appreciate the entire uh, should I say, company for the collective effort in uh, getting this recognition. Good. So in the next five years, where do we see Inc. being in digital under your watch? Well, we will be the number one in digital space in Nigeria and in Africa. We will be the leader in that space and we will set the space, the, the, the pace for growth in that space also. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Valentine. Shime for your time and um, one last word from you for the viewers out there that are listening to you and probably 
those who are looking up to you as the CEO of um, Inc. Digital. One last word for your clients. I would say for every CEO and every upcoming uh, individual and a company, this role is a significant step in terms of scale, pressure, and also commitment and visibility. Uh, no matter how smart or ambitious you are, um, I would say that uh, do not assume that you know everything and uh, you must always take out time to build your skills like influence and emotional intelligence. So it's, 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 uh, it takes all the training that you can get and uh, make sure you don't rush before you are truly ready. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time, Valentin Chime. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Michael.